Scotty Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside. Ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Uh, Big matches today. Big ones today. The Moondogs and Richard Lee, they're going to be here today. Right here today on USWA Wrestling. Got the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. Right here today in action as well. And hey, PG-13, they're going to be here today. A full day of wrestling. You are absolutely right. Not only that, Tony Adams has had a bit of a change of heart. I want to talk to her about that. We'll be back with Moon Dogs and American Eagle right after this. You will receive cash. Yes, cash for any Rolex, cash for any Pontec Philippe, cash for any Cartier. Listen carefully. Heritage Estate buyers will pay you cash for these men's wristwatches or the others I will list. Heritage is on a national search for watches. We will help you with cash if you own a Vacheron, Universal Geneve, Breitling, also Audemars, Movado, and Lacultra. Your watch can be worth thousands of dollars if it's a chronograph, moon phase, or repeater. I had no use for my uncle's moon face watch. Heritage was very kind and fair. I had a valuable chronograph. I needed money. Heritage was fair and paid promptly. This is an opportunity for you to receive cash for a watch that's gathering dust in a drawer. I didn't know my World War II bubble back was worth so much. I wanted to sell my husband's Rolex, and Heritage gave me the best price. My husband was afraid to wear his expensive Patek Philippe in the street. Heritage came to the rescue. Thank you, Heritage. Heritage Estate Buyers will pay you cash for the fine men's wristwatches we listed, working or not. This is the only number you'll ever need to receive cash for these select men's wristwatches. Rolex, Patek Philippe, Cartier, Vacheron, Universal Geneve, Breitling, Audemars, Movado, and Le Coultre. This is a limited offer. We pay promptly and all transactions are confidential. If you don't call now, you're losing money. Write down our number. We have watch buying specialists ready to pay top dollars now. Time means money. Call Heritage now. 1-800-522-7100 is the only number you'll ever need to sell your watch. If it's Rolex, Pataki Philippe, Cartier, Vacheron, Universal Geneve, Breitling, Audemars, Movado, and La Cultra, time means money. Call toll-free 1-800-522-7100. That's 1-800-522-7100. Well, things are quiet in the ring right now, but I don't believe we'll be able to see that for very long. Uh -huh. Moon Dog scheduled in here in the opening match today as Richard Lee will be bringing them in. I hear the whistle. Here they come. And there's Richard Lee leading the way with that folding metal chair in his hand. The Moon Dogs right behind and headed over this way. Richard Lee. The Moon Dog. It took you long enough to get over here and talk to somebody that's got uh, a You've got a sense, match. Steve Brown. Listen up and listen up good. All I've heard for about the last two or three weeks is Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. Everybody's talking about how great they are. And what do they give us to wrestle? They give us people like Mike the Punk Anthony, Mr. Airhead himself, Jeff the Weenie Wagon Gaylord. They don't want to give us a title shot. Jeff, Brian, let me tell you something, brothers. You can run, but you can't hide. And what we're getting ready to do is show you what the old moon dogs look like, brother, because I've unleashed them. We're bad, and we're fixing to take over the USWA. Richard Lee is unleashing the moon dogs, he says. As they head into the ring right now, they climb up on the ring apron. Their opponents still have not uh, made their appearance. We're waiting for the American Eagles out here. And here they come, the American Eagles, to do battle against the Moon Dogs in a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match coming up here today. There they are, the American Eagles! Coming through the curtain. And we're about to get this one uh, going, Dave. They started over toward Richard Lee. Richard Lee was backing up with that folding metal chair, but then they headed for the ring. Frank Morrell, the referee, calls for the bell, and as the Eagles climb through the ropes, the Moondogs attack them. And we're underway with it, the Moondogs and American Eagles. Mike and Pratt going up to Liberty and Justice, the Eagle. Got the Eagle hanging on the top rope there, choking at Moondogs, Spike. Richard Lee walking around there. Manning that folding metal jack. Oh, flat misses 
with the elbow. Boondog Spike has the other American Eagle out on the floor. Rams the Eagle right into the chair. Boy, action is underway. Early in the USWA. The American Eagle going after Moondog Spike. American Eagle reversed it on him. It was the Moon Dog that ran into the chair that Richard Lee was holding up that second time around. And Eagle trying to capitalize, but they're out here on the floor. Whatever happens here on the floor is not going to count as far as winning or losing the match in the ring. Oh, Richard Lee got nailed. Yeah. The Eagle fell Lee in there and uh, knocked that chair out of his hand, too. Richard Lee collecting the chair again, as you see. Moondog and American Eagle roll back into the ring. Now all four of them back in the ring in action again. Not a conventional match. As you've had, you, there's been no time so far that we've had one from each team in the, the middle of the ring. Frank Morrell doing best he can to keep uh, to keep order, but that's very difficult when you got this Moondog team around. Oh, yeah, indeed. Boy, they do it all as they slam the Eagle right into the ring pole. There's the other American Eagle. And taken down by Moondog Splat. Lee there with the chair out on the floor with Spike. Now the other American Eagle. And Frank Morrell trying to get some order in this one, but not doing too good of a job. And boy, it's really hard to do with all of these guys. Splat. What a he big hit one. Big splash from Moondog Splat in the ring there. Boom! Oh, slams down on the eagle, whips him into the turnbuckle, goes in after him, he misses this time! Misses with the splash, and the American eagle goes to work on Moondog Splash. Meanwhile, Spike and the other eagle have climbed back in the ring. You got a ball four in there again. Richard Lee blowing the whistle. He wants more action out of his moon dogs. American Eagles look pretty doggone good in this yeah, match so do. far. Giving away lots and lots of size to the big moon dog. Yeah, but they're standing in there. Holding their own against the moon dog. Splat! Down and away on the eagle in the midsection. Spike's got the other eagle. And they're all out on the floor now. All down here on the floor. Look out. Yeah. Oh, watch it, Corey. Over to the table, one of the Eagles has his head slammed into the desk by Moondog Spike. Richard Lee holding a folding metal chair. Frank Morrell's call for the bell. Yeah. He's counted all of them out. This, this one's over. As far as the official match goes, it's going to go into the record books as a draw, a double count out, as everybody's down here on the floor. You gave the dogs to at least four, and ain't nobody going to stop yeah, well, they need to stop now and get out. The bout has been called off by referee Frank Morrell, but the Moondogs continue with that chair I, choking the eagle I, The way this one's been going, Eddie, if, if Eddie Marlin's watching a monitor in the back, we need some help out here to get these guys out of here. Moondogs are choking the eagles. One's We're choking. Anybody, Dave Brown, anybody that wants to sit there, don't do it. I see Jeff Jarrett over here. There's some help. As we try to clear the studio of these moon dogs, Richard Lee announced he was unleashing them. Oh, hey, Brian Christopher out here, yeah. too. And Jeff got that moon dog phone in his hand. Frank Morrell got that back away from him. They checked the Eagles. The Eagles appear to be okay. Crowd. There it is. Eagles. Jeff Jarrett. Brian Christopher start back in the ring, and now Richard Lee holds the dogs off. Oh. He calls them out of the ring. Oh, they're gone, boy. Boy, they're still barking and yelling and screaming, but they're out of there. We'll be back. Deadly, powerful, merciless, predators of the wild. Time Life Video presents Predators of the Wild, a brand new video series that gives you a compelling look at how nature's most powerful hunters dominate the food chain. 
uncensored footage reveals how they select their prey, stalk their victims, and move in for the kill. Call now and begin your collection by exploring Hunters and the Hunted for only $9.99. You'll confront nature's one chilling reality, kill or star. Keep Hunters and the Hunted and other tapes will follow about every other month. Each tape gives you an in-depth look at a different predator, how they create life, and how they take it away. Predators of the Wild explores the killer instinct. Call now to order Hunters and the Hunted for only $9.99 and see how the savage survived. To order Hunters and Hunted, call 1-800-441-5376 or send 999 plus 323 shipping and handling to Hunters and Hunted, P.O. Box 941787, Atlanta, Georgia, 30341. After minute of amazing flips, bouncing, smashing, and scraping. Watch these guys eat it big time. You want to see it to believe it. It's the ultimate party tip. See exactly why these guys wear their helmets. Watch them crash and burn. Jam packed with action and let you actually feel the agony of defeat. their lives. Just sit back and watch these real crash test dummies really eat it big time. Call now for their special TV offer and you get two days for $19.95. Call 1-800-533-8900. Well, over the years, there's been a lot of controversial people around, but one of the most controversial ever in the USWA. Set it this way right here. I'm talking about Tony Adams. Tony on her way here with Rex Hargrove. Uh, and as I said, one of the most controversial people ever in the USWA. And what is this, Tony? Is this your man of the day here? I mean, if we've had Chris Adams, Brian Christopher, and now I see you hanging around with Rex Hargrove. Man, this, this, look at this. This is a real man. What do you mean, Chris Adams, Brian Christopher? This is nothing. Nothing. Now this, this is a real man. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at this body. Oh, it's fantastic. I tell you, a real man, a real man is somebody that defends a woman. Is there for her all the time. Is always by her side. Always by her side. Well, protect her truth. True or not? Well, I, that, that's what you say. But, I, you know, I recall uh, the incidents with, uh, with Chris Adams and with Brian Christopher. Look, just uh, they are nothing. They are nothing. I, I'll prove to you, okay? I'm going to show you something right now, okay? I'm going to show you the difference between a real man and not a real man. Run it. Run it. Run it. Got a tape? Yeah. Okay. Run the tape. And Tony Adams runs in after her. Texas with the boots catches Tony Adams. We're four and a half minutes past in this tag match. Ladies tag team action. Miss Texas vicious Vicky, Tony Adams and Sweet Georgia Brown. Four from Miss Texas. Here comes Sweet Georgia Brown in. Vicious Vicky's got Georgia. Hey, there goes Tony Adams. Tony takes off. She's out. That'll do it, Miss Texas and Vicious Vicky are going to be your winners as Tony Adams takes off in there. Well, a quick exit for you from uh, that match, and therefore you all lost. <laughs> Where was Brian Christopher during that time? I have no idea. See, he's not a real man. He's nothing but a little punk. This is a real man. This is somebody worth having, worth keeping. Brian is nothing but a little cute. You know why? Tony Adams always stays on top because she stays with winners. This is the USWA Tag Team Champion. Well, okay, but but. And you won it fair and square. No, no, no. You well, you showed a you showed a videotape. Let me show you a videotape right here. And remember that he won it fair and square. See for yourself right here. Here comes Coco. Flip Jared over and holds on to him and face off on the fabulous one. Hey, here comes Tony Adams. Tony Adams 
Joe's walking down the aisle. Looks over the right to Arbol. And walks over toward Brian Christopher over here. Don't know what for. But Tony Adams is out here. Christopher looking at it. He don't understand you know what Tony's doing. I can't tell what she's doing or what she's saying over there. Or something over there. Yeah, Ron Christopher says, oh, well, okay. Whatever. Don't go there. Now on the way on, Jerry. Take shot. Into the turnbuckle. Ron Bush from the fabulous one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he had him covered. Boy, five cow. Well, there's almost two, three cows in there. Frank Morrell takes in the bird down and Coco Ware slap and jump Jared. Jared throw him, hey! That's a couple of more times, Coco, and he goes to work on a bird man. Backs him up and whoops him in. Coco leaps over. And they're both out. They come out. 17 minute mark with a USWA tag time. Uh, Rex and uh, Coco walk out of there with the belts, but everyone could see there is absolutely no way that they would have been able to beat him if you hadn't meant for you throwing that powder in Brian's eye. Oh, boy, he got what he deserved. He deserves everything. That's what you get for the messing with me. You know what they say about a woman scorned. Well, just start to believe it, Brian Christopher, you little punk. Uh, still, there is absolutely no excuse for interference in that wrestling match by someone who's outside and especially something no, like no, throwing no, that no, powder. No, no, He is a little puke. He's a punk. This is a real man. This is someone worth having. Brian got what he deserved. I can't stand that little puke. He makes me sick. He's pathetic. Well, he, he had powder thrown in his eyes is what happened. And as a result, Rex Hargrove... He, no, he is the champion. He is the champion. Fan Square, Brian, is nothing but a pathetic little punk puke that I wouldn't have the time of day for. No. Well, uh, here's Brian Christopher right here, as a matter of fact. He can uh, take care of himself inside the ring and outside the ring. And I'm just going to let him... My airtime. What's he doing? Well, I'm just going to let you've been out here. You've insulted in many, many ways. You interfered in the match. You, you are the one that cost him uh, half the tag championship. So I'm going to, I'm going to allow him to just have his say right here. Have you heard what the, what she's been saying? I've heard her running her mouth for a long, long time. And you're out here saying that I'm pathetic. Well, let me tell you what I think is pathetic. I think it's real pathetic how you've been dumped. More times than a dipsy dumpster, girl. Yeah. I mean, first of all, first of all, you are dumped by your own husband, Chris Adams. Am I not right? I'm right. <laughs> 
then, then you were dumped by Johnny Polo onto me, onto me. And now I've dumped you onto Rex Hargrove and he's picked you up. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've had more hands on you than a doorknob, haven't you? How dare you? You can come out here and you can press around and act like you're hot to trot and act like and try to convince everybody that everybody wants you. But the truth is, nobody wants you. You understand me? And hopefully it won't take him long to find out that you're nothing but a slutty tramp. You understand me? That's right. That's right. But just looking at this big goof right here, I can see his elevator don't go all the way to the top. But Tony Adams, listen up. For the rest of your life, you're going to keep on getting dumped just like yesterday's garbage. You understand me? Because nobody wants you. That's what you are is garbage. <laughs> Hit, that couldn't even break an egg. <laughs> oh, hey, watch it, watch it, watch it. Look out. Hargrove and Brian going at it. Yeah, after Tony slapped Brian. Boy, she knocked the heck out of him oh, a couple of times there. Brian went after her then, and now Rex Hargrove knocked Brian to the floor. Look at Tony's got her shoe off. Man, I mean, Hargrove and Christopher going down the floor down there too. Tony Adams with her shoe off, hitting Brian at every chance, kicking him. Whatever she could do. Now look out, Rex Hargrove got uh, got Brian down on uh, on the floor. Here comes Jeff. Here comes Jeff Jarrett, the fabulous one. Picks Rex Hargrove up by the hair, pulls him back, gets him separated. Oh, he holds him up, and Brian nails him with a right fist. A little bit of a payback. Yeah. Little bit of a payback there, Tony Adams. That's what it is. And now Brian and Jeff standing there, inviting Hargrove into the ring. He's not interested. He grabs Tony Adams. He's not going to get in there. We'll be back with more from the USWA. Say, that's a great-looking camera you have. Hey, you again. You know, around our house, you're known as the Nippon Camera Guy. Thanks. Listen, I've heard the Nippon Camera's gone on to record-breaking sales. It's even been featured on a CNBC Consumer Report. The Nippon 35 millimeter gets my... Okay. So, let me guess. With the holiday season fast approaching, you're recommending the Nippon Camera as a great Christmas gift, right? You bet. Call now for guaranteed Christmas delivery on this value-priced camera. But that's not all. Call right now and you'll get 100 rolls of free Kodak film with purchase processing. The Nippon 35mm focus-free camera and 100 rolls of free Kodak film with purchase processing. Incredibly priced at $19.95 and it makes the perfect Christmas gift. You know, you're almost as recognizable as that oh, oh, other guy oh. at Christmas. Order your Nippon camera now. Call 1-800-592-1188. That's 1-800-592-1188. Hey kids, put on your hard hats and get ready for Real Life Giant Construction Equipment for Kids. The exciting new video that's fun filled with 25 monster machines. Join Hard Hat Harry on a magical adventure to actual construction sites. 30 thrill-packed minutes of bruising bulldozers, colossal cranes, dirty dump trucks, and more. 25 big machines to watch over and over again. Asphalt eaters, pavers, rock crushers, all the heavy equipment kids love driving right into your living room. Real Life Giant Construction Equipment for Kids is a rare chance to see huge excavators in action. Stone Mountain blown up by dynamite. Kids even climb into the driver's seat of the big machines they love. Your kids will ask for this video again and again for truckloads of non-stop entertainment. Real Life Giant Construction Equipment for Kids makes a great gift for children aged 3 to 10. Call now to order on VHS for only $12.95. Then let the big fun begin. Rex Hargrove and Tony Williams going to be going against each other right here in our next match. One fall 15-minute time limit match coming up. 
Rex Hargrove, of course, uh, former football All-American at the University of Tennessee. Tony Williams, uh, former tag team partner with uh, with Brian Christopher, as a matter of fact. Yeah. He and uh, Brian started out as the new kids and then uh, went their own way. There's Tony climbing into the ring right there. And here comes Rex Hargrove with Tony Adams. And now Rex says, I'm going to go to the ring right now, and uh, you take care of yourself. I will be back in just a few moments here. Sure, it won't take long, he says. Well, he will see. As he climbs in the ring, Frank Burrell, the referee, calls for the bell, and we are underway. Tony Williams against Rex Hargrove. Yeah, and Tony Adams uh, here at uh, ringside here. What do you want, Tony? Well, I just say, look at you. Well, okay. Look at this gorgeous man. Look at that hair. You know, it seems to me Brian's just jealous. He's jealous because he can't have me, and I dumped him. This, this is such a beautiful person to look about. Don't you think so? Well, what would you know? Well... I, I tell you what, I, I'm afraid Mr. Hargrove has a rude awakening coming later on. That's all I'll say. I cannot believe, Brian. I cannot believe what he said. I am a tramp. I'm a lady of the 90s. He knows nothing. He's just a young punk that I'm through with. Well, there's a word from Tony Adams. She's through with Brian Christopher and is now with Rex Hargrove. Rex going against Tony Williams in this match here. Rex, a much bigger wrestler as far as physical size goes. Oh, big power slam. That was, that was a great move. Yeah, what a move from uh, Hargrove in there. One half of the USWA Tag Team Champions is Rex Hargrove. And Tony Adams blowing kisses to Rex Hargrove in the ring oh, after that move. Warms me up. Warms me up. It's, a shame. it's a shame, Brian. You can't look like this. You're just a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee Ball, Rex Hargrove, with Williams in, and uh, Big Ball. Way to Nick go, baby. <laughs> Rex Hargrove on the throat. There's a chokehold. Referee sees it, calls for the break. Hargrove very slow to break the illegal hold. And backs Tony up, and with Williams in, catches him as he comes off the rope. Then I, then I kid. Who is this kid? Who, Tony Williams? What you, yeah, you know Tony Williams, of course. He's been wrestling in the USWA. Former tag team partners we mentioned at the beginning of the match with Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher? That he is, he has something to do with Brian Christopher? Well, he used to. I mean, they went to high school together. They were tag team partners. Was that, yeah. was that a three count? Yeah, that's yep. a three count. I'm going to show this winner. punk what it feels like to be associated with Brian Christopher. Oh, no, oh, we don't need on, that Tony. stuff now. Tony? He's not associated with Brian Christopher anymore, either. But is a Hargrove now holding him up. Tony Adams climbing the ring apron. Frank Morrell is saying, hey, come on, break this up. You've won the match. Now get out of here. Hargrove takes him over. Oh, boy. Tony Adams slapping Tony Williams. Come on, Tony. The only thing, the only thing Tony did wrong is he used to be a partner with yeah. Brian Christopher. Oh, that's ridiculous. And he's wrestling again. Hey, here comes some help. Look at this. It's Brian Christopher coming in to help out. He immediately goes for Tony Adams. Grabs him by the hair. Rex Hargrove grabs her. Oh, Hargrove got him by right to the right. This one's got a hair. They're going to stunt Tony Adams here in a minute. Hargrove finally gets the best of it and takes her out of here. There they go. Brian checking on Tony Williams. Jeff Jarrett there to help out, too. We'll be back. We've got more to come. Don't go away. <laughs> What? Disco Fever, this great collection of my favorite dance songs from the 70s Preservation Society. I love disco, and I hear it's making a comeback. It sure is, and you get 40 unbelievable hits on Disco Fever. By the Bee Gees. I just 
got my copy of Disco Fever. And you were right. I've been looking for these songs for years. And now they're all in one collection. And what a fantastic deal. You get over two and a half hours of the greatest disco classics on two cassettes or CDs by the village people. Dance Party, 40 Unstoppable Hits, available on two cassettes for just $19.99. Two CDs, just $24.99. Now that you've caught Disco Fever, let's go out and dance. Hey, I'll just hustle on over. To order Disco Fever, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. Order now and you'll receive a free 70s Preservation Society catalog filled with your favorite music, videos, and great gift ideas. So call or write now. Well, it was a match this past week, one of those matches that the fans just really love to see and really enjoy, look forward to, and once they get to the, uh, get to the arena, they're not disappointed. This one occurred in Memphis at the Memphis uh, Mid-South Coliseum. It was a match between uh, uh, Midget D and Little Eagle. Midget D, of course, uh, in the corner in uh, recent weeks, uh, PG-13, yeah. and has been known from time to time to use that hubcap and uh, whatever other means yeah. to help PG-13 win a match. Little Eagle in the corner of the American Eagles to try to even things up. And these two got into it. Well, they got into it, and they had a harem versus mask. That's that right. Night. Little Eagle, of course, wearing, uh, wearing the mask, and, uh, and he put the mask at stake and said, all right, but if I put my mask at stake, you got to put your hair at stake. Yeah, and Midget D had his hair Gucci and all of it <laughs> there yeah. on the line down there. <laughs> I don't want to give away the whole thing, but let me just say that Midget D may not need to visit a barber in the near future. Let's take a look at what happened right here. Oh, <laughs> shoulder from Midget D. Jumps over a little eagle. Comes back. Oh, look at Eagle. Nice move to take down Midget D. He's got him covered. And American Eagle. Chase the ice fighting it out. Here comes Whoopi D. Whoopi D in the ring. Picks up the little eagle and slams him down hard. Oh, boy, by God. Well, almost had all the hair shaved off, and all of a sudden, PG-13 got there and rescued him just at the last moment, but got the job done as the, uh, the hair left. PG-13 headed this way right now, as a matter of fact. They've got, uh, they've got a match scheduled against the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord, and Mike Anthony. They don't look too happy as they head this way. <laughs> Hey, we're not in a very good stuff mood now. today, and I'm going to tell you why. Look at him. Look at him. It's sick if these people think that this is funny, but no. this is not funny. This has done nothing but make the PGs real hot. You know, Corey, Dave, I heard you laughing when you was plugging the yeah. car. I heard you laughing about the little man's hair. Our main man, Midget D, ain't got no hair. Not because of you, little eagle. Because of the big eagle is why my man ain't got no hair. So you see, this week we got Midget D against little eagle. The mask. Of that little deformed dwarf, Dave Brown, and that's what he is. He's a deformed dwarf, and underneath that mask is the head of the elephant man. Yeah. That's why he wears a mask, because he's got the head of an elephant man. And you want to say you want to put his mask against Midget D wearing a diaper? 
No, That's the stipulation. No, let me tell you something. No, no, no. Let me tell you people something. And let me tell all of y'all something. It'll be a cold day and you know where before Midget D puts a diaper on in front of anybody. Jay Brown, if you don't shut him up, we're going to beat this whole building up. See, Jay Brown, this is the whole part. Matter of fact, just give me that. Just give me the microphone. This is the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to PG-13. And let me tell you something, you do not humiliate PG-13, especially our manager. So what I did, Dave Brown, was we went to Eddie Marlin, and we was trying to think of the best way for PG-13 to get rid of the American Eagles. The thorns in our side with that little splinter. So we asked him, let us have a stretcher match, Dave Brown, a stretcher match. And this week, the stretcher match is happening. And PG-13 is going to put the American Eagles out for good. They're hauling them out. Call the ambulances. Call everybody you can. Because you see, in the hood, we carry punks out every day on stretchers. So American Eagles, the good part about this is we get paid to carry you out on the stretcher. And the reason we know we're going to do it is because of these. The new shoes. It's got to be the shoes. Get ready, Eagles, because you're leaving on a stretcher. Well, PG-13, Wolfie D, and J.C. Ice with Midget D in their corner. They're right about the stipulations on the matches coming up. They're angry. They're very confident that they're going to get victories. It remains to be seen in the ring. They've got themselves a touch match coming up oh, right yeah. here. As you've got the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord, and Mike Anthony facing PG-13. Midget D's got his hand on that hubcap in the corner. Don't yeah. forget about him. Oh, wait a minute. There comes the American Eagles right here. Yeah, Little Eagle strutting along with them. <laughs> little Eagle. Look at that hand of Midget D. That what? is slick. PG-13 is mighty unhappy that the Eagles are out here. They said, hey, we've oh, got a match. What are they doing oh, out yeah, here? But right. as long as you guys stay over this way, oh, Eagles. that's okay. I'll be more than happy to stay over this way. You know, these guys have been a thorn in our sides for a while. I think it's time we got a little even. And we come out here and watch what they're doing to make sure there's no shenanigans going on in this match like they do with us. I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And, hey, J.C. Ice, out here, <coughs> out here earlier talking about what they do in the hood. Not only do they do what he said, but they still hubcaps out there, too, and he's got one of them in the corner. Watch that hubcap. Hey, Dave, Corey, you know, you always hear about J.C. Ice and Whoopi D. saying they belong to a hood. The only hood they belong to is Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> and, you know, they're the first ones to say how tough they are. Well, let me tell you something. This week, we've got them in a stretcher match. The only way you can win this match is when the opponent cannot answer the bell. If he can't reach the 10 count, then he's carried out on the stretcher, and then the, the we'll get our hands raised. The bottom line is, the American Eagles stand for truth, justice, and liberty. And brother, let me tell you something. We got something we'd like to say to all the little Eagles out there and all the kids growing up. Always mind your parents. Say your prayers, make good grades in school, and always, always say no to drugs. You live by those rules, you'll grow up and be a strong, healthy person. Those are great words from the American Eagles. Yeah. They're looking uh, at JC, the fence, JC. JC Ice not happy at all. Midget D unhappy. Uh, they, <laughs> that's oh, yeah. an excellent point. Uh, PG-13 better pay attention to their opponents in the ring, yeah. and they sure better pay attention when you guys step in there in this stretcher match coming up. That's exactly right. You know, have you ever seen or heard PG-13? They'll do a fancy move, so they think, and they'll be, they'll go smooth. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at Midget D. That smooth. Little Eagles celebrating Allen a little bit, too. Hey, come on, J.C. Ice screaming and yelling, paying much more attention to the Eagles over here than to his opponents. Oh, Mike Anthony nails it from behind. Look at that, yeah. Running his mouth, standing out there on the apron, and Mike Anthony clobbered him from behind. And now, Whoopi D, at least for a moment, yeah. left all alone with, uh, with Mike Anthony and Whoopi D. They see Ice back up on the apron now, yelling and screaming again. You know what, Dave? If we can distract them this week as much as we are today, 
I can, can you imagine what Little Eagle is going to do to Midget D? Can you imagine what Midget D is going to look like wearing a diaper? Well, let me tell you something. What good is a baby wearing a diaper without a bottle? So we're going to ask all of our wrestling fans this week to bring a bottle because he's going to look good with a bottle and a diaper on. <laughs> well, he may in fact get the opportunity to do that. But of course, Little Eagle's mask is at stake too. So you got to watch this guy. Yeah. Got to watch them all. PG-13 going against Mike Anthony, Jeff Gaylord, and the American Eagles right here at ringside with the Little Eagle, along with Dave and I, and we've got this about going on here today at the USWA. Still to come, fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher teaming up right here today. J.C. is feeling pretty good about uh, the situation right now. He's got Mike Anthony in a face lock. They're right in the middle of the ring, but the crowd... Channing, go, Mike, go. You can tell who they are not for. They are not for PG-13. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. These guys have good skills. They don't want to take all these shortcuts. It's really a shame. But they have good wrestling skills and abilities. They don't want to bring in a hug cap and all that. And it's a shame from the wrestler like that. Yeah, it is a shame. Hey, Mike Jack, in out uh, real well away. Mike Anthony in some trouble back in their corner. Now flipped out to near the center of the ring by Wolfie D. No, let me tell you something, J.C. Ice. This week, you're going to need a stretcher because we have come up with a move that we're going to use just for you, PG-13. The American Eagles, there's no way that we're going to lose this match this week because we've never been carried out on the stretcher in the USWA, brother. Let me tell you something. That's where it's all happening. It's a hotbed of professional wrestling. And this week in the stretcher match, we can promise you that you will be carried out on the stretcher. PG-13 doubling up on Mike Anthony. Wolfie D dragged him back away from the tag on Jeff Gaylord to keep Anthony in there. And look at look at that JCI. Yeah, just a little extra install in there. Mike gives him a little trouble here, but I tell you what, if the fans keep getting behind him like they're doing, that adrenaline will get the flowing, and I guarantee you he might be able to pull it out. J.C. Ice working on a pressure point on the side of the neck. Now picks Mike Anthony up and runs him into the knee. Uh, Wolfie D over in the corner. PG-13 makes the tag. Yeah, here's Wolfie D and flips Anthony over and holds on to him front face lock. You hear what he said? Yeah. Said he couldn't think with you guys out here. Yeah, I got news for him. He can't think anyway whether we're out here or not. We're just out here to kind of kind of agitate a little bit, just like they've done. They've been a thorn in our side since the American Eagles hit the scene in the USWA, but we're out here to make the sides even. We're not going to interfere in anything. We're just going to be out here. we got to stay in this, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, it's, uh, it certainly is working as far as the distraction is going, because especially J.C. Ice is really distracted by having the Eagles in the wrestling area here. Anthony got the tag on Jeff Gaylord, and J.C. Ice had Frank Morrell's attention. Well, Frank didn't see the tag over there. Yep, Jeff is going to have to go back outside, and Mike Anthony is being double teamed over in the corner of PG-13. You know, the referee can't see everything. You can't blame the referee because he does not have eyes. Great move by Mike Anthony. He double clotheslined them coming off of there. They were double teaming him. He had the balance coming off the ropes and he nailed them both. But now Wolfie D stomping on him again. Wolfie nails Mike Anthony with the right hand. I thought Mike, I thought Mike was going to be able to turn it around there just for a brief moment. But that's one thing that I know you guys know because you've wrestled them. This PG-13, they do have some balance, and they do have the ability when they get in trouble to reach down, get a little something extra, and come right at you again. Well, that's one thing. You cannot take away their ability. You know, the only thing, like my partner said earlier, these guys do have wrestling knowledge. They are scientific wrestlers when they want to be, but they prefer to, to use the uh, dirty tactics, the cheap, you know, the cheap way. The easy way is what they like to take. You can't take nothing away from them, and we don't. Mike Anthony has yeah. the shoulders down to Wolfie D. There's a good four count. Yeah, he and had him. J.C. Ice jumps in and breaks it up. The referee distracted across the ring. And there's another situation where that was not the referee's fault. Mike Anthony, victim of a drop kick put on by J.C. Ice. You know, just like you said, the referee, you know, he didn't see that because he doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. When there's, when there's four men in the ring, you know, in a tag match, it's hard for him to keep control of him. I wouldn't want his job. I, know. I guarantee I wouldn't either. And, you know, his, his job is to keep one against one in there. And in doing that, 
Sometimes a team like PG-13 will sneak around behind you and pull the dirty move, and that's what they have done today. There's Mike Anthony. He, he really needs to get to a tag, but his back is to his partner, and he's three-quarters of the way across the ring. He's not in a good position to get to the tag. And you know why he's there? Because PG-13 has control of him, and they keep him in this corner so he can't make They're smart. They're good at what they do. Yeah, they're over in their corner, and the tag, uh, Wolverine gets it, comes off the middle ropes, and down on Mike Anthony. J.C. Ice leaves. Wolfie D takes over now. Jeff Delor very frustrated over in the corner. He can't get in there. Look at this. Mike Anthony, good drop kick, but from behind. J.C. Ice grabs him. Now everybody's in the ring. Yeah, they're all in there now. PG-13, Mike Anthony and Jeff Delor. Blind forearm from Anthony. Goes after Ice. J.C.'s got him over the middle rope, holding him. Hey, Midget D's got the hubcap. Look oh, out! Hey, American Eagle, the Little Eagle, grabs the hubcap and oh. keeps Midget D from using it. Yeah! He throws the hubcap. Mike Anthony got it. And Anthony and Gaylord get the one, two, three, and our winners of the bout over a PG-13. Give Little Eagle... A very nice assist there, a legal assist, as he did not get in the ring. All he did was he, he just yanked the hubcap out of Midget D's hey, hand and on, kept him from using it on Mike Anthony. The, as they continue to argue, we're going to take a break. We've got more great action. Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, coming up. Elvis, the world's greatest performer, in his most electrifying concert, is now available on home video. Elvis, aloha from Hawaii. You're knocking me down, telling my face, slamming my name all over the place. In celebration of the 20th anniversary of this historic event, Elvis, aloha from Hawaii, is now available through this special TV offer. Order now, and you'll get a full 75 minutes of Elvis Presley, 30 of the King's greatest hits, recorded live and in living color. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii, only $19.95 plus shipping. Here's how to order. Use your credit card and call 1-800-321-3600 to get your collector's copy of Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii, only $19.95 plus shipping. Buy one for yourself, give one as a gift, but don't miss this special television offer. Order now, call 1-800-321-3600. Ralph Emery here in Nashville where country music traditions are born and no one brings those country traditions home like Country America magazine. I like the stories on ordinary country people with extraordinary courage and determination. How about you Clint? Oh I just think that uh, Country America interviews the most fascinating entertainers. Clint. I hear that same phrase repeated time and time again in letters from Country America readers. Call now and receive a free preview issue of Country America magazine. If you're delighted with your free issue, continue your subscription for a full year. Ten issues in all, including your first for just $13.97. If you're not completely satisfied, just write cancel on your bill. The first issue is still yours to keep free. Join us in the next great country tradition. Order your free issue of Country America now. Call 1-800-257-7600. Reggie B. Fine and Doomsday in here right now. And their opponents will be coming this way very, very shortly. Their opponents, none other than the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. You know when I have a real partner, they ain't comfortable with Well, we've heard that before. Here they are, Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, a tag team that was put together by a computer. Yeah. We'll talk more about that in a moment, but man, have they turned into a great tag team, let me tell you. Reggie B. Fine says, when I got a great opponent, when I've got a great partner, good things happen for Reggie B. Fine. Well, he's got a big opponent. Referee Frank Rell is tired of uh, Reggie B. at Doomsday being down on the floor. He calls for the bell, and we are officially underway. And who's going to be starting? It's going to be Reggie B. Fine and Jeff Jarrett as we get this one going. And one interesting point in this one, Dave, Reggie B. Fine has made the point that he's got his partner in Doomsday, and Doomsday is undefeated in the USWA so far. Well, it 
maybe a new day in the USWA because you're looking at a very top tag team and Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. This is Reggie. What, you know, I don't, I don't know what he could do to make you angrier. I, he, he will irritate you from the moment he walks into a room until the moment he leaves and sometimes even after. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Well, I'd say Reggie B. Bonds says he's from every woman's dream. <laughs> yeah, every woman's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every woman's double nightmare. Standing in against the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jarrett goes after that arm of Reggie B. Bags him up, spins flying into the road. Goes under Jarrett and hangs on. See him, boy, he doesn't come off of that. Well, that was a smart move. It probably kept him from getting popped right in the side of the face. <laughs> oh, in the teeth, what? Look at, look at Reggie, celebrate. Hey, I outsmarted you, Jeff. Look, I just held yeah. on the ropes. outsmarted you. I'm smarter than you are. Oh, yeah. right, I'll insult the crowd. Yeah, insult the crowd, yeah. calling them a low budget and all that kind of stuff. He's got a mouth on him. Reggie B. Fine and Jeff Jarrett tangle it up. Fabulous one. Boy, Jeff, a little steam today at not having those USWA tag titles around their way. Look at that. Reggie. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's what you call thinking. And turns around and gets nailed with not one, but two right hands in there. Oh, man. Here is the very large doomsday standing in the ring. Doomsday does power over Brian Christopher as far as size goes. He is a tall one. He's, he's big and solid. Oh. Reggie's still complaining he got hit with a fist. Doomsday backs Christopher up. Takes a swing after him. Brian Christopher gets out of there and comes back swinging and nails Doomsday. One thing, one thing Doomsday is not going to be used to that uh, he's going to find in this match, and that's Brian Christopher. He will take all the shortcuts, all the uh, all the dirty tricks, if you will, because he's used them all. And so as Doomsday tries some of that, he's got a counter for it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a move from the big Doomsday. This guy's big and forceful. That's powerful. All of those big words. You can outline him right by the name of Doomsday. This guy is big. Lots of power. Brian Christopher being cheered on by the fans of the USWA. Gets over, gets attacked from Jeff Jarrett. And I don't, you can see what Reggie be did. Yeah, it? I don't think the referee saw it. No, he didn't because he was trying to get Reggie out, as you were pointing out. Jeff is saying, ask the crowd. Yeah, we tagged, and they did. I saw it, but uh, the referee didn't, and it's not allowed. Reggie be fine. Now the way on Christopher. Whoa, from Reggie B. Tag Doomsday, partner. Here comes Doomsday. He nailed fine, Christopher. Reggie. Reggie held Brian out of the corner. Brian was on his way to the tag on Jeff Jarrett again. But Reggie held him up. Christopher trying to get over and get his tag on Jeff Jarrett. Doomsday holding on to him. He tags him again. And Frank Morrell didn't see it. Reggie finds. He's distracted Morrell over there. Holding on to Christopher now. Doomsday. over in the corner. Boy, he's nailing away on Doomsday. Look out! Reggie Fine nails it from behind. After throwing Jeff Jarrett out of the ring down on the floor, there he is. And they hold up Brian Christopher. Look out, Jeff is back in the ring. He moves Brian out of the way, and Reggie B. Fine nails Doomsday. There's a cover. One, two, two. Oh, he couldn't make it stick. I thought he had him. I thought he had him, too. Oh, look at that. Christopher rolls up Reggie B. He got it. He got it. One, two, three. The fabulous one. 
Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher get the win over Reggie B. Bond and Doomsday. And boy, Doomsday will probably still be undefeated if it wasn't for his partner. Incredible teamwork by Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. Back with more in a moment. hauntingly beautiful music in movies, on radio and TV. He's sold over 20 million records around the world. His name is Zom Fear, master of the pan flute, that magical instrument with the unforgettable sound. Now in his magnificent all-new collection, Zom Fear plays the world's most beautiful melodies. is not sold in stores. Please stay tuned to order. Use your credit card and save COD charges by calling toll-free 1-800-776-5800. Or, to save all additional charges, send check or money order for only $12.98 for two albums or two cassettes or $19.98 for two CDs to Zomfear, FDR Station, P.O. Box 5195, New York, New York. Remember, that's Zomfear, FDR Station, P.O. Box 5195, New York, New York. Well, today, Richard Lee unleashed the Moondogs. He said he's going to turn them loose, let them do whatever they want to in Moondog matches. Rex Hargrove going against Tony Williams here today. Interesting situation in that one. Rex Hargrove uh, now has Tony Adams in his yeah. corner, and that can be dangerous from time to time, as you're going to see right here, as a matter of fact. Tony Williams taken over to the uh, ring apron, and Tony Adams slapping him. Why? Because he used to be a tag team partner with Brian Christopher. She claims she's dumped Brian. Brian says it's the other way around and it won't be long till Rex Hargrove finds out all about Tony Adams too. Brian and Jeff got there to help out Tony Williams and everything worked out all right. Look for a moment as though Brian might pull Tony Adams hair out uh, yeah. too, the way he had her uh, uh, grab there. But uh, finally Rex Hargrove grabbed her and took her out of here. PG-13 going against Jeff Gaylord and uh, Mike Anthony. Then it was Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher against Reggie B. Fine and Doomsday. And Jeff and Brian won the match, and they look mighty good doing it, too. we got a lot more action coming up this week in the USWA and next week right here. We hope you'll join us for that. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.